So there is a new version of VMware Workstation and Fusion called 25H2. You may have seen this somewhere, maybe here in Windows 11. The latest version of Windows 11 is 25H2. So the Broadcom is now following the same naming or versioning system. They are saying this embracing calendar versioning just like windows i've already tested this and i can say this is actually a lot more improved you know they changed the versioning system you can see here workstation pro 25h2 it sounds like the windows versioning thingy but you know okay but here is the most interesting thing yeah uh, i think most of you guys know this that uh, the vmware is one of the most popular plus one of the best virtual machine software out there for windows and linux and the fusion is for mac okay they are the same thing but on mac it is called fusion and another thing this is a premium software but now it's been almost a year now they have made this free for everyone the fusion and workstation are now free for all users you can download this for free and use it and it happened after broadcom acquired the vmware i'm not going to go too deep into it i think you guys already know about this but the new version of vmware the 25h2 is actually better now I did a video in this almost a year ago when this thing became free. Downloading VMware is a little bit tricky. You'll have to create an account. You have to go through a lot of steps to get the uh, free version of VMware. The old method doesn't work anymore, <laughs> okay? So let me show you guys how to get it now. Now, this is the official website where you can get the VMware Workstation or Fusion. You have to go and click on download now. It will open a new web page from broadcom first it will ask you to sign in with the broadcom account if you have if you don't then you can register i know you guys can do that just sign up for the broadcom account and once you log in you might be thrown at the my dashboard you have to go to the my downloads okay trust me downloading this thing is a little bit tricky okay it's not as straightforward as downloading other softwares once you're in the my downloads here you'll see new link here free software download available here so this is a new thing and this is the new way to download this so you have to click on here that will actually open another page within this page okay here you can search for the product if you want to download the fusion for mac you can search fusion or if you want to download vmware workstation you have to search for that or you can scroll down a little bit and you'll see vmware workstation at the bottom if you want to download fusion uh, there is also vmware fusion again this is for mac so i'm on windows i'm gonna go and click on vmware workstation pro and also, if you're on Linux, you can also follow this. Here is the latest VMware Workstation Pro 25H2 for Windows and Linux. You can click on one of these. If you're on Linux, click on Linux. If you're on Windows, click one where it says Windows. So I'm gonna download the Windows version. So I'm gonna click on that. And after that, I'm gonna click on the release version 25H2, okay? Just by seeing this 25H2, it reminds me Windows. Like it's gonna happen every year now when there is a new version available for uh, VMware. <laughs> you can see there is the download button on top of my head. You can't click it because you have to click on here. I agree to terms and condition. And you can't even click on ag agree to terms and condition unless you open this link first, terms and condition. Open this, read this, you're okay then go and oh i have to click on it i can't open it in new page okay click on it it will open the new page read the terms and condition go back and now you can click on the i agree uh, box okay just check it after that you'll be able to click on this download option but we are not done here screening required so once you click on this link it will say uh, prior to downloading this file, additional verification is required. Proceed? Yes. Here it's going to open the new page and I'm going to blur this out in the video because there are 
some personal information so you have to fill your name last name email if there is a company select company if no then other address zip code okay you have to fill those and after that you have to click on submit once you click on submit you'll be back to the vmware workstation pro download page okay so here again on top of my head now this time it says https download so you just click on it to download it okay and just download it i have already downloaded this so yeah that's how you download the vmware workstation 25 h2 or any more version depending on when you're watching this video okay and uh, install it as you install the other programs easy peasy downloading isn't as simple as the other softwares but yeah this is the new way to download the vmware workstation now again this is one of the best virtual machine software out there and i use this to run virtual machines on my windows and uh, this also works on linux and also on mac but it is called fusion on mac that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye